on a cold October night in front of millions. Two economic theories battled it out on GDP SmackDown. Ladies and gentlemen, feel the excitement. One of the most powerful forces in the country, in the world. It's a simple statistic. Gross domestic product. GDP! 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 This one number sums up how a country is doing. But that one number forces us to confront one of the most powerful questions humankind can ask. Should GDP take into account the things we hold deep? The environment, democracy, education, parenting, freedom. It's the economic battle of the century. Let's get it on, America! Woo! That's what I'm talking about, baby. Because I'm here to tell everybody, right here, right now, brother, I will meet you in Madison Square Garden. I'll meet you in Boise, Idaho. I don't care. Because when we meet, I put butts on seats and bucks and wallets cashed at it. That's what matters. They can talk all day about how they love their mamas. But until they buy their mamas flowers, it don't mean jack, daddy. A lot of people think you're wrong. That you have to include the way people feel. Happiness, the earth, smiles, education. Time to throw down! If economic statistics only measure how much money is spent on stuff, then brother, you only got half the picture. This country's doing well when we have beautiful mountains and streams, when our children are getting an education, when everybody feels like they got a shot, when there is time for love. And I'm going to love taking you down. Start putting a value on that. This is getting intense. Too hot. Bam! Wake up call, America. It's Simon Crazy Kuznets, the intellectual father of economic accounting. Wrestling fans, I don't have to tell you, Kuznet believes governments have to calculate the overall welfare of the country, and not just the dollars spent in the market. Let's get crazy! Holy checks and balances, it's M. Joseph Meehan, the assistant chief of the Department of Economic Research at the U.S. Commerce Department from parts unknown! You got a lot of fancy theories, friend. You can't run a country on feelings. I can tell you exactly how much steel was produced in the last year, how much it sold for, how many workers it took to make it. Oh, but how many dollars is a smile? You are in a fantasy world, friend! It is Neverland, and you are an ass! Booyah! There might not be a precise dollar value for liberty and happiness, but if we don't include these deeper questions in economic statistics, then we are saying that all that stuff is worth nothing, brother. America, can you hear me? Oh, this feels good! Ow, 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 ow! No! Oh, look at that! Yeah! Oh my ah. god! Ah! You're hurting my quality of life! All right, boys, settle down. Save it for Madison Square Garden. Pay-per-view! <laughs> Hard dollars! Smiles! Everyone wins! On Friday night, Meehan won that fight. 14 million people tuned in at $49.95 a pop, which added just shy of $7 million to the U.S. GDP. But in that audience, 3 million people were terrified of losing their jobs. 5 million were having the best night of their lives with their families. 240,000 didn't realize they were drinking polluted water. 1.3 million stopped watching early to study. 20,000 people decided that night to change their careers so they could do something more satisfying. 425,000 marriages were struggling because of economic problems. And one guy in Montana decided to pet a wild buffalo. And that did not go well. But GDP didn't measure any of that. At some point, we have to put a value on those things. A guy petting a buffalo? That's worth something, right? <laughs>